he's not coming. But if he does, what are you gonna say to him? I'm sure he's not coming. He's in love with Ladybug. He's not gonna come and have brunch with us just for macaroons. He's been rejected so many times by Ladybug. Maybe he's changed his mind. Cat Noir changed his mind? <laughs> I seriously doubt it. No one's as stubborn and one-track minded as him. The Christmas Elf on a Secret Mission? Seriously, Marinette, don't you think you went too far this time? I know, Tiki. It was pure ridiculousness. But I couldn't tell him the truth about the gifts. Besides, I simply told Chris a nice little story which hopefully will teach him some patience. Speaking of patience, I've got an idea of what I can give Adrian for his 50th birthday! Give me a hand. Snow? Whoa! Uh, uh, how long was I asleep? <laughs> it's over, Santa Claus! You're surrounded! Surrender and don't put up a fight! Searching for Santa Claus far and wide! Searching for Santa Claus far and wide! There's no way he can <laughs> run! Get back on the sidewalks! Running in the road! Santa Claus! A Have you uh, seen Santa Claus? <laughs> It's all just a dream. I'm going back to bed. Wow! Why did you do that, Tiki? See? Oh. You're not dreaming. Well, if I'm not, it means... This does look like a nightmare, though. What you are about to witness is proof of the existence of interdimensional creatures with incredible powers who can move through matter and seem to be attracted to aged cheese. I discovered the first of these creatures soon after school began in September. I started observing it closely. Then I discovered a second one. I have proof. Watch closely. You can't see the creatures themselves because they're not filmable. But look right there. <laughs> Given that I was unable to capture these creatures on video, I've made sketches of them to give you an idea of what they look like. What's that even supposed to be? I seriously doubt this show is remotely scientific whatsoever. Mrs. Mandalayam, are you serious about actually chasing cheese-eating ghosts? I'm always serious. I thought we didn't keep secrets from one another. I didn't want to bother you with Kwame nonsense. Besides, I thought the problem had been resolved. I promised you wouldn't eat any of that magic cheese anymore. Wait a sec. If Plague was there too, that means that he was here in this school, which means Cat Noir is a student at Francois Dupont just like me. And if I just figured this out, then that means that Cat Noir probably just figured out that I figured out that he figured it out. Uh, no, not at all. You know, Plague would travel for miles just to sink his teeth into good cheese. <laughs> you see, the problem now is that I'm always going to wonder whether you're lying or not. I'm so sorry, Marinette. It's okay. I know you're trying to protect me. If I figure out who he is, I'll have to give up my Miraculous and Ladybug. So I won't try, and I hope he doesn't either. This ultra-modern train will travel between France and the UK at record speeds, faster than flying by plane. But how is the train going to cross the sea between France and the UK, Marinette? Well, there's a tunnel under the English Channel, Tiki. Did a superhero do that? <laughs> no, just regular men with machines. Huh, I can't believe how many inventions humans have made since I last had an owner. There's no stopping progress, Tiki. There's no stopping you, either. Oh, this is going to be a wonderful sweater. It's a tradition, you know. I always knit my dad a sweater every year for his birthday. So I want to do something extra special for him this time around, but I couldn't think of anything. I'm sure you'll come up with the perfect idea. You always do. Well, I'd better think of it now, because his birthday is today. Oh, come on now. It really is a shame, Roland. It's your son's 40th birthday today, and it... Uh, ow, I know how much Tom would love it if you... Uh, oh. Is that my grandfather again? Yes. So he's definitely not coming then. I did everything I could. It would have made your dad so happy. He doesn't talk very openly about his feelings, but I know he's sad that he doesn't see his own father anymore. It's a shame. I'd really like to meet him someday, too. He hasn't left his home or seen a single person for over 20 years. I know, but why not? Uh, uh, he's a little old-fashioned in his ways. He's not exactly what you'd call modern. But what happened 20 years ago? Uh, well, it's complicated. If you really want to know more about it, you should probably ask your dad. 
Hey, Dad, why hasn't Grandpa left his house in 20 years? Oh, uh, well, because he's very fond of tradition, and, uh, if you want to know more about it, you should probably ask Grandma. Oh, mm, oh he's always lived in the past. Well, it's complicated. If you really want to know about it, you should probably ask your dad or your mom. Oh, okay. Thanks, Grandma. See you tonight. Ugh, seriously? Why won't anyone just answer me? Oh. Judging by that look on your face, I'm thinking you've come up with your idea. You're right, Tiki. I know exactly what I'm getting for my dad for his birthday. I'm gonna get him and his dad back together again. I found Roland Dupin's address. Let's go! Here we are! With one turn of a handle, I can raise the level. Ta-da! It's Canal Saint-Martin! The water rises when the locks are opened with the handle. Very clever, Marinette! Now let's keep our eyes peeled. Hopefully my new friend is here somewhere. <gasps> oh no! What is it? A supervillain? Worse, Tiki? Kagami? My new friend? No way! She's brilliant, strong, cute! And? And she's got a huge crush on Adrian! They're already fencing partners, their parents are friends, so if we win, she gets all the credit and she'll wind up being his girlfriend for sure! There's no way I'm doing this with her! Nope! Nuh uh! Not doing it! Uh uh! She's so weird. Okay, fate has placed her in my path. I have to succeed. If I fail with Adrian's quirky friend, I'll never pull it off. Marinette, this isn't fair to Kagami. If you won't be her friend, she won't be able to play. Yeah, right. She's so smart, I'm sure she'd figure a way around it. Probably even do it twice as fast by herself. In fact, I bet I'd just slow her down if I went. <gasps> of course! You're right, Tiki! If I stick with her, I can make us lose. Then Adrian will never see Kagami win, and they'll never fall in love! Uh, come to think of it, perhaps it would be better for you not to go. Hi, hey, Tiki! <laughs> the game is on! You really are an indecisive girl. We'll meet back here. We're going to win! What are you doing? Nothing. She placed her trust in you and she gave you her phone. But she kept looking at it the whole time. Don't you want to know why? For all we know, she could have been chatting with Adrian, texting him, who knows what else? Marinette, no! Uh, zero messages except the ones from the contest. And there's only one number in her list of contacts. Her mom's. She doesn't even have Adrian's number? What's this app? Oh, shoot! So this is what Kagami was looking at this whole time. 30 tips for making friends. That explains everything. Her strange behavior, her weird questions. Kagami was just trying to be your friend. I feel so bad. Oh, no! She's got my phone. If she sneaks a peek, she'll see the messages Ollie and I were sending each other. Do all humans really sneak through other people's things? Hmm? You better run!